Today on the show, we're making Portuguese egg tarts. So, did I fly to Portugal to have these things? Uh, no, I actually had them in Hong Kong. It's a long, complicated story. Let's just get to the recipe. Okay, let's begin with the crust. We want a nice flaky crust, and to do that, we're gonna need a pie dough. So let's add two cups of all-purpose flour to a food processor. One tablespoon of sugar. And one teaspoon of salt. Next, let's add two sticks of unsalted butter to our food processor. And uh, we want them evenly dispersed, so cut them up in big chunks. Pulse until the butter has incorporated into the flour. All right, once our flour resembles grated Parmesan, let's add the final ingredient. And now for our final ingredient, cold water. Now you might have noticed there's no tracked measuring title. Yeah, pie dough is kind of fickle. You need a specific amount of water for the type of flour you're using and the humidity conditions and all kinds of variables. So really just drizzle in enough cold water until it begins to come together. All right, after a few off-camera adjustments, this is what you need. Stick this in the fridge for about an hour, just so the uh, A, butter can harden, and B, flour can absorb the moisture. All right, before we roll out the dough, set the oven for 450 degrees. Did you lose to a bunch of Vietnamese rice farmers before and after? After we tried our hands at it and failed, the number you're looking for is 230 degrees Celsius. Okay, it's been an hour, but before we continue, let's make the custard filling for our pies. And I make some sort of dirty joke here, but I don't want to get demonetized. Anyway, I have here in this bowl six egg yolks, to which we'll add one 14 ounce can of sweetened condensed milk. Next, let's add one teaspoon of vanilla. Combine all the ingredients together. Then let's add one and a half cups of heavy cream. All right, let's pour this into a cup with a pouring spout. And it's ready to be poured in. Speaking of which, Okay, it's been an hour and our dough is fully hydrated. But before we do that, let's... No, 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 no. <laughs> kidding, kidding, kidding. Uh, we're gonna roll out the dough. We just need to uh, file the work surface first. Okay, this is this dough is a bit on the crumbly side, so we might have to just add a little bit of water. Keyword, a little bit, a little goes a long way here. Paint it on. Okay, we kneaded the dough nice and smoothly. Now let's roll this dough out. Okay, once the dough is, let's say, um, half the thickness of a pencil, let's move on to the next step. All right, grab yourself a two inch dough cutter ring and start cutting. All right, separate the rounds from the scraps, put the scraps back together. And just uh, roll the scraps back up to form a new ball dough and roll them back out. All right, next, take a mini muffin tin. Man, these tins are older than me. Anyway, enough backstory. No matter what kind of muffin tin you grab, you must spray it down liberally with nonstick spray. All right, next, grab yourself a round. Flatten it out slightly and just stuff them into our little Molds. All right, next let's get our custard filling and fill them almost all the way to the top. Okay, and it's ready to go in the oven. All right, let's put our tarts in the middle of our 450 degree oven. And let it cook for 30 minutes. All 
great. Once they're nice and caramelized on the top, they're ready to take out of the oven. So take them out of the oven and put it on a heat proof surface. Oh, don't worry. These are going to deflate. So let them cool. All right. Let once these things cool down, they're ready to pop in your mouth. Oh, and if any Portuguese are watching, uh, sorry about my fellow countrymen moving in and gentrifying your country. Rewind back to the scene of me spraying muffin tins and you'll understand why California is so expensive. This has been Chase Cutting Kitchen. I'm CRJ, making cooking fun and meaning at this time. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, smash the like button. If you really enjoyed the video, become a subscriber and hit the bell notification icon. I upload every Friday. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, and support me on Patreon. Please like the video. You have no idea how difficult the shoot was with my dogs barking all the time.